let's get started in order to take out the bearing we have to remove the caliper and the caliper bracket okay so we're using the 14 metric to take out the sliding bolts for the brake caliper So then I'm going to use this wire so I can hang the caliper. I like to hang the caliper by using wire to prevent the brake caliper from hanging down damaging the brake hose. Now removing the two bolts that secures the bracket onto this knuckle. I'm using a 9 me 19 metric socket. Now, remove the axle nut. We need to remove the screws that secures the rotor onto the knuckle. I'm using an impact screwdriver to break loose the securement bolts. stuck there's a solution install a bolt find one that will fit onto the holes with the threads so that when you turn it it will push the rotor out this particular axle nut has a dent on it to secure the axle nut in place meaning that it won't back off it could be dangerous so we have to re uh, bend that axle nut in a way where it clears the notch I'm using a small chisel to straighten out that axle nut and give us clearance to unscrew the axle nut. I'm using a 36 axle socket and then back. Then remove the outer tie rod off the knuckle. I have to remove the cutter pin, unscrew this nut, and then I'm going to hit this part of the knuckle with the hammer hard enough to create a violent vibration so that the tie rod, the outer tie rod, comes off its socket. Do not take the whole nut off, leave it flush to the stud of the screw or the thread part of the tie rod to protect that stud. Okay, now we have to remove the lower ball joint from the knuckle. We have to remove the cotter pin Remove the nut, but not all the way. We're doing the same procedure. Let's keep it flush onto the actual stud of the ball joint so that when we hit the knuckle and break the lower ball joint loose off the knuckle, while we're doing that, we don't damage the stud.
since there's tension here I'm just gonna leave it the stud of the ball joint onto the knuckle now we're removing the bolts that secures the strut to the axle we're using a 22 metric socket and wrench if possible rule a good rule of thumb if possible use your impact gun always on the nut side to make it easier. Okay, now, once everything's already removed, let's take it out. There we go. Look at this. The piece off the bearing came off. Part of the exciter ring for the ABS sensor. And that's what's causing the problem with the ABS code. Let's remove the wheel bearing. So we're using a shop press, a 20 ton. And you can see the actual steering knuckle. I'll get closer to show you my setup. Okay, so when you're using a press, it ain't that easy where you can just put the piece that you're trying to press out and then place it on this press. You gotta get creative and figure out a way to safely press out whatever you're trying to press out. In this case, the steering knuckle. So you can see I got some 2x4s, and in between the 2x4 and this metal plate that's standing up, um, I have a 2 pound weight right there, a cap brand, you know, the standard uh, dumbbell or, you know, dumbbell uh, weight. I also put some plates at the bottom as well. This big metal steel piece right here, um, this piece right here came with the shop press. I'm using a socket to press down on the actual hub flange. You can see the one with the studs. That needs to come out before we take out the hub bearing. And then you see over here as well, I have weight plates and then another big metal bracket piece that came with the shop press. Like so. Now I'm going to get the other washer piece. So you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, now let's remove everything off the press and get a closer view. And here's the flange of the hub. Yeah, you'll get a better view. Okay, so I have the wheel bearing here. Of course, this is the steering knuckle. I'm gonna remove this brake dust shield just so that I can work with this better and hopefully you probably get a better view all right now here is the bearing and it's got a snap ring we have to take that off hope y'all can see that there but I'm gonna have to put my hand over it for my safety purposes and there we go took it off now I can take the bearing out of the assembly here okay I already placed the steering knuckle assembly on the shop press so that we can push out the bearing, the hub bearing. Now I'm using the socket here. 
Okay, now we're ready to press out the bearing. It does take a lot of pressure. So don't be surprised that it's not coming out very easy. I guess I'm gonna have to use a bigger adapter because you can see now that this bracket on the shot press is now hitting the actual steering knuckle. All right, now I want the longer socket so that we can push out the bearing completely. All right, so now I'm just gonna use a little bit of fine sandpaper just to clean up the inside of the hub. Not a lot, just a little bit. Get rid of any dirt and debris. Okay, so now we're gonna install the bearing and we have to make sure that we insert the bearing in the correct way, in this direction. So you say ABS sensor side, that has to go in this fashion here. Okay, so I already installed an adapter that will go perfectly over the bearing. And now we have to make sure that the bearing is straight in the hub so that it can press evenly as much as possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up the shot press, release the tension, and then increase the height just a little bit so that the bottle jack doesn't have to work so hard and travel. Okay, so I added one more plate just to increase the height of the steering knuckle. And then I also added another adapter plate up here just to help us out in pushing down the bearing so that the bottle jack doesn't have to travel so much going into the actual steering knuckle. Let's get started. When you're working on the shot press, look underneath the steering knuckle and there's still a gap between the bearing and the steering knuckle at the bottom of the lip. So we need to go forward. And we're good. Okay, we're ready to install the snap ring. And we've got it. We're good to go. I'm not going to show how to put everything back together since you already experienced how to take it off. It's just going back in the same way. So hope this video helped you out here. And uh, I'll try to continue doing more. Take care. Bye.